What a wonderful way to spend a Sunday afternoon. A nice quiet drive in the country, bumper to bumper, fighting the frustrations of the freeway, keeping a tight rein on all that horsepower. Surely the American motorist had something else in mind when he bought his car. Wasn't it really something like this? rises over California. It does that frequently. This morning, we find some drivers so eager to start their weekend that they spent Friday night camped outside an automobile racetrack. There's still some fun and excitement and romance left in driving, if you know where it's at, and if you're willing to get there early. This was the start of a new American cultural phenomenon, the bug-in. A bug-in is something like a love-in except that people who go to Buggins are all in love with the same thing, the Beetle. These people love their buggies and wagons so much, they even had a beauty contest. Isn't it amazing how a little imagination and a little money can change the appearance and performance of the family car? There's nothing like customized styling, good grooming, and tender loving care, even for a girl. Well, what do you know? A beetle with a jackrabbit start. These fellows take off faster than my secretary at five o'clock. this for Sunday driving. Getting up to 100 miles per hour in 10 seconds. Why, a backseat driver doesn't have a chance to get a word in edgewise. This contest is called the slalom. The object of the slalom is to get through the course faster than the other guy. The man who designed this course probably designed the parking lot at your local supermarket. Beauty is only skin deep, but this buggy is a little short on both. Well, looks aren't everything. If you think that's fun, you should see how they've transformed the bug into a Formula V racer. With some technical know-how, you can compete on a Grand Prix track for less than the cost of your wife's last accident. Why, it's Walter Mitty's dream come true. East, when it's too cold to burn rubber, they race a little differently. Fish tailing across the surface of Lake George in upstate New York. Needless to say, this is not a summer sport. No special tires are allowed. These engines are air-cooled, and then some. The only thing hot in this race is the competition. 
Yes, sir, there's nothing like going out for a little spin, as uh, long as you don't overdo it. Uh, hang in there, Clyde. Neither sleet nor snow nor cold or ice will stay these wagons on the swift completion of their appointed rounds. Beetle fans all across the country just love to get off the road and race their cars. But the path of true love seldom runs this smooth. Welcome to Riverside, California. fella, that's an air-cooled engine. This is what is known as a grueling course. It only hurts when you smile. There he goes at last. I knew he could do it. This is a sequence we call Poetry in Motion. Is it suspended animation or uh, animated suspension? Wow, the suspension is killing me. happy just to finish the race that he flipped over it. That caused some problems. It is very hard to congratulate a winner when he is upside down. And so as our champion is turned right side up and our winning car sinks slowly in the mud, we bid farewell to our weekend warriors and their wild, wild wagons. They might get muddy, but it sure beats fighting the traffic. Uh, keep your eye on the road, Harvey. I think you missed your turn a few miles back there. <laughs> <laughs> 